keto diets are hot right now, losing weight fast without bread or sugar. But wait, it's not all rainbows and butter-filled bacon. There's a dark side to keto that needs to be addressed. In this video, we're getting real about the risks beyond the hype so you can make an informed decision before jumping on board. No hype, no bias, just the facts you need on the downsides. Let's do this. One of the most common side effects when starting keto is the dreaded keto flu. This fun bundle of joy includes symptoms like fatigue, pounding headaches, nausea, and brain fog. Basically, all the things that make you want to crawl back into bed. Keto flu happens as your body makes the big switch from using carbs for energy to relying on fat and ketones instead. It's a rough transition. The good news is, keto flu usually only lasts about one to two weeks max as your body adapts to being in ketosis. Staying on top of electrolytes, drinking bone broth, taking exogenous ketones, and eating enough calories can help minimize the misery. But prepare to feel a little cruddy and sluggish when you first ditch the carbs. Dehydration and increased fluid loss is another common side effect, especially in the initial weeks of keto. When you cut carbs way down, your glycogen stores deplete rapidly. This results in your kidneys flushing out more water and electrolytes. You may notice increased thirst, darker yellow urine, dizziness when standing quickly, and even fainting spells in some cases. It's crucial to stay on top of hydration needs while your body is dumping water. Make sure to drink plenty of fluids with electrolytes added. Watch for signs of dehydration and consult your doctor if symptoms persist. The dehydration usually improves after the initial adaptation phase once your body balances out. GI problems like constipation and diarrhea are also very common side effects on the keto diet. Your digestive system isn't used to handling super high fat intake, which can definitely cause some issues. In the short term, it's normal for your bathroom habits to be a little wacky as your body adjusts. But some find that, even long term, the high fat keto foods continue to cause digestive distress. If you have a history of GI problems, keto may exacerbate things. The lack of fiber from restricted fruits, veggies, and grains doesn't help either. Making sure to include low-carb veggies and supplements like magnesium can help provide some relief. But you may have to deal with some cranky bowels as long as you remain in ketosis. When you cut out entire food groups like fruits, starchy vegetables, and grains, it also removes many important vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Some nutrients keto dieters need to especially keep an eye on are B vitamins, vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, selenium, and others. Without adequate intake, Deficiencies can develop over time, leading to symptoms like fatigue, muscle cramps, constipation, weakened immunity, and more. Taking a high-quality multivitamin, specific individual supplements, and or trying to work in small amounts of nutrient-dense carbs can help prevent deficiency issues. Monitoring your levels with blood work is also recommended. But avoiding common deficiencies may require some strategic supplementation. Keto diets do come with an increased risk of developing kidney stones, which form when urine is overly concentrated with certain minerals. Some studies have found high animal protein, sodium, and low-carb intakes contribute to kidney stone risk over time. For those with a history of kidney problems or kidney disease, keto can potentially worsen kidney function since the kidneys have to work overtime, filtering out ketones and acid. A dangerous condition called ketoacidosis can also occur if ketone levels get too high in the blood. Bottom line, if you have existing kidney issues, you need to be very cautious and consult your doctor before attempting keto. Keeping hydrated and avoiding overconsumption of animal proteins may help reduce risk, but kidney problems are a legitimate concern. The high dietary fat intake required to maintain ketosis can be taxing on your liver over time. Your liver helps metabolize and break down fat, so eating lots of fatty foods like meat and cheese gives it extra work. Some research suggests ketogenic diets may contribute to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Those with existing liver conditions like cirrhosis or autoimmune hepatitis need to be extremely cautious as keto may exacerbate liver inflammation and dysfunction. If you already have compromised liver function, check with your doctor before embarking on keto. And even without known liver issues, it's smart to limit ultra-high fat intake and give your liver periodic breaks with lower fat days. Too much dietary fat long-term places extra burden on this important organ. Keto diets frequently have a major impact on cholesterol markers. LDL cholesterol, considered the bad type, often increases substantially, which could contribute to atherosclerosis and heart disease long-term. However, HDL cholesterol, the good kind, also typically increases. Overall, 
cholesterol profiles tend to change significantly in ketosis. If you try keto, be sure to get regular blood work to monitor your lipid panel and inflammation. You want to watch that LDL number for upward trends, even if your HDL is looking better. Some seem unaffected cholesterol-wise, while others see concerning spikes in LDL on keto. The only way to know how it impacts you is to test. Don't assume keto will improve your cholesterol without testing. For athletes and those who train hard, keto can definitely impact your performance, especially in the beginning. High-intensity endurance activities like sprinting, HIIT workouts, and long-distance running often suffer initially on keto as your body adapts to using fat instead of carbs and glycogen for fuel. You may bonk hard at first. As you become fat-adapted over a few months, your performance may bounce back, but some activities may always suffer without those quick-burning carbs. The good news is strength training seems less affected, so if lifting is your thing, you may continue crushing it. Just be prepared for your high-intensity endurance to take a temporary dive when starting keto until your body adapts. One of the big risks many run into after keto is weight regain once carbs are reintroduced. The highly restrictive nature of the diet makes it difficult for people to sustain forever. When you eventually transition off keto, your metabolism may have slowed and your body could immediately grab onto carbs for fuel, storing them as fat. Some find they gain back all the weight lost, and then some. Those who had an unhealthy relationship with food pre-keto may fall into old habits when coming off the diet as well. Long-term success keeping the weight off post-keto requires developing sustainable, moderate habits with room for flexibility, which is challenging after such an extreme approach. Expect potential regain when quitting keto. Hormonal issues like thyroid and adrenal dysfunction, cortisol imbalances, and menstrual cycle disruption are another possible side effect, especially for women. The diet is thought to negatively impact fertility by shutting down reproduction in famine mode. Those with a history of disordered eating or chronic dieting should avoid keto due to the restrictive nature as well. And while keto may be beneficial for some health conditions, it's not appropriate for everyone. Those with certain medical conditions like uncontrolled diabetes, liver or kidney disease or thyroid issues should steer clear or at minimum work with their doctor. Keto's long-term effects? Kind of a mystery. Studies mostly cover a year or less. Mice had trouble with insulin on extended keto and some folks shared concerns. But we're missing the full story without more data. Keto not your jam? No worries. Try low-carb Mediterranean more veggies, less fuss. Dip into intermittent keto for a breather. High-carb refeeds? Yep, planned carb days. And paleo primal pals? You've got options too. Fruits and tubers are calling. Thanks for diving into the keto world with us today. Remember, it's all about balance and informed choices. If you're hungry for more insights on health, diets, and everything in between, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to MindFit Fusion. Until next time, stay healthy and keep exploring. Which alternative diet piques your interest? Mediterranean, intermittent keto, or something else? Comment your choice.